What up, Internet? It's your boy, Jay Pearl, here with my very first script, 3D Point Stabilize. I hope that this increases your productivity and creativity and saves you some time. Let's dive right in and see how to use this tool. We're going to start with a simple video I took while walking around this table. Our goal here is to stabilize the candle so it's always in the center of the screen. I've added some solids so you can see just how far the candle moves from the center of the image. I'm going to shy those layers because they're only important in the context of this demo. First things first, we need to 3D camera track the scene. Open the tracker panel and hit track camera. Sometimes tracking fails for this type of shot, and I've found that setting the solve method to typical can usually fix this. Once that's done, we need to create a 3D null and a camera for the script to use. I'm going to create that null on the surface of the table and position it directly at the center of the base of the candle. This takes a little bit of guesswork, but I'll show you later that we can actually adjust the null's position after we run the script to refine our precision. Okay, that looks good. Now, we need to select the 3D null and the 2D layer we want stabilized. Then, just go to File, Run Script, and choose 3D Point Stabilize. For easier access, you can just install it in your scripts folder. Once we've run the script, you'll see that the object is now stabilized. The script creates a null for you called Pin Null and you can use that to reposition the whole clip. Let's just put that right in the center. Okay, now, there's still a bit of a problem, and if we look closely, we can see that the object has not been rotation stabilized. Let's fix that. Undo everything, and let me show you a little trick. If we duplicate the original tracked null and move the duplicated one upward along a single axis, we can select the first null first and the second null second, followed by the 2D layer and then just run the script again. Now we see that the rotation is stabilized too. Pretty cool, huh? You can rotate, scale, and reposition the pin null to move the whole scene around. And if you're interested to see how this works under the hood, you can check out the expressions on the 2D layer we've stabilized. It's mostly trigonometry, but since it's all made with expressions, we can actually go back and reposition our original nulls which are actually still tracking the 3D scene in camera space, and further refine our stabilization. This can get a bit tricky, but I think it's still good to know. Now we're done, and we have our perfectly stabilized video. I hope you enjoyed that, and I can't wait to see what you make with this. Look forward to more scripts coming out soon, and feel free to tag me on social media if you make something cool with the script. Bye now!